Hello, fellow diggers. Yeah, this here's your buddy Penny Digger. Right here. Hi, guys. Um, you know, I've been suffering through a little thing with my legs, and the swelling's gone down, and I just got a call from uh, from wound care. So that the, the antibiotics that they put me on that have been screwing my stomach up for the last week, uh, the bacteria that the culture came back as is resistant to the augmenting. So now they're going to call me in a, a dose of Cipro. Well, that's no problem. I'm, I've taken the Cipro before, and I'll take it again. And I'll go pick up my dose of Cipro and take it two times a day for 10 days. And that'll take care of that. But that's just an update on everything let everybody know because I know I've got some buddies of mine out there that are concerned about my condition and everything so but uh, then my son went out to check the mail today and I had another package yeah I got another package and look here it's from my buddy Dave in Scotland yeah this is one I've been waiting for and uh, part of the package, it's two, five, six, seven, six, actually six coins that go together to form this, uh, this shield. And that's the order they go together in to form the shield right there, which I put the shield at the bottom instead of at the top, but that's no problem. I can move it. Move it, 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 move it. Now I'll show you what it is. Now see? There's the coins. There's the shield here at the top. That's what they form. But if you'll notice, they all fit together. They're all individual coins, and they fit together to form that shield. Isn't that neat? That is something kind of neat. He also sent me some Roman coins. Now this one, everybody saw in his videos. The head is pretty big, uh, pretty prominent. You can see that now. On the back, not so good. It's kind of smooth on the back. But that is a large, large Roman coin. And I'm going to put it right there at the top corner so see jet ski john i told you i had some real roman coins coming so it doesn't matter that george was a fake these aren't eh? but um uh, let's see well these other two these other two are in better condition there you got the head right there and on the back you can pretty clearly see the figure there on the back and that one will go right there and then this one is just a little bit smaller but you can see the head fairly clearly on there and the figure on the back is even more clear so I might put this one right up under that one with the that figure right there and that'll leave me some area here and here to put some other coins but uh then he also sent me yeah check that out now that's nine carat uh, which we don't have nine carat here in the states, but you know y'all y'all got it over in the UK and in Scotland. Well, actually, Scotland is part of the UK. I still think of Scotland as a sovereign nation. I'm sorry, being of Scottish descent, uh, and chances are my my relatives probably didn't come over here thinking of Scotland as being part of the United Kingdom, but as being their own nation. 
I still kind of think of it that way. Let me take this off, slip this off, and lay it on the black surface here where you can get a little bit better look at it. There, you see, it's got some nice baguettes down each side. Got a decent sized center stone and some stone surrounding it. Now, people say, oh, oh God, I, I, want, I want a ring. Uh, Dave saw that 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 I I honest to God treasure my coins. You know, so I'm putting them all in displays and putting them on the wall. I'm not I'm not putting them up on eBay. I'm not uh, trying to make money with it. And he saw that the the coins actually mean something to me. So <clears throat> what he did, he sent me that where I could go ahead and and go to the coin shop here in town. And he said, now, he said, I've had a lot of dealings with these, these type of shops. And he said, why don't you take it in there and get them to give you a cash price? And then, after they give you a cash price, ask them to give you a trade price. He said, quite often, they'll give you more in trade if they know the money is going to stay there in store. And that way, maybe you can get some more coins to add to your collection. Wow, I like that idea. It, it makes a lot. It makes perfect sense. And uh, I don't know of, of of anybody that would would do that. Um, um, Dave, you're some kind of a special guy, dude. And you, you truly are. It, it, I don't, I don't have, I don't have anybody left in my life. My, my dad's gone. Uh, well, my mother's still around, but she's 83 years old, and she can't afford to do anything like that. She's like me. Uh, she's on a fixed income too. But uh, I don't have anybody left in my life that that would or or. Well, would yeah, but that can do anything like this for me, and uh, you are you are really a special special friend. I've I've got some really good friends in this community, people. Some really good friends, and I'm not talking about just the ones that give me things. So to get that off your head, yeah, 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 you like the people that give you stuff. No, I've got some really good friends in this community, and a lot of them that have never given me a thing. Um, ben and Paul, Keithy Six, Axel, uh, Metal Gopher, Treasure Jack, Old Guy Mike. I mean, these are all good friends of mine, and they've never given me anything, and I'm not asking them to. But this is this was a special an act of kindness and i appreciate it and i am going to go to the i got to go into town anyway to go by and get my my cipro so i'm going to go by the coin shop and see what they what they do and if i'm able to get some really good stuff i'll i'll show you when i get back but uh dave i i I, I don't even know how to put into words how I'm feeling right now. Uh, I knew you, you told me what you were doing and what, what how you were, but hearing it and seeing it on paper or seeing it in print and actually seeing it, you know that it, it actually came to fruition. You know. <clears throat> I told you when you first told me what you were doing how much I appreciated it in advance. But uh, this is this is some kind of special guy, and not just the ring, the the coins. The, the, that that's neat that they all go together to form that shield, and the Roman coins. Like I said, you know we don't have any Roman settlements or anything here. Uh, if I could ever find evidence of a Roman colony in America. I wouldn't have to worry about anybody sending me stuff because I'd be a rich mother. Um, 
the archaeology world would be beating down my door. So, these are real special. And I know um, Jackie Smith told me, you know, that uh, the Roman coins really aren't that expensive. You can get them on eBay over there and you can get them online all the time over in England, you know, fairly cheap. That she would pick me up a couple and send them to me. And I was like, well, that's nice. I appreciate it. But <clears throat> I've already got some Roman coins coming. My buddy Dave in Scotland sending me a, a, a few Romans. So, you know, uh, save your money. Don't don't go spending a bunch of money on me. But, um, you know, I know you found this ring. You didn't, you didn't go out and buy it. But you didn't find these coins, I don't believe. You may, maybe you did. Maybe you did. The Romans, I know you had a friend of yours send you, but that's got some nice sparkle to it. But, uh, anyway, like I say, I'm going to go into town, and I'm going to get my medicine, and I'm going to go by the coin shop and see what how they talk. And uh, I'll let you know how everything works out. In the meantime, people, uh, this is Penny Digger once again. And uh, I'm going to sign off and go take care of business. And I'll let everybody know how this works out. Uh, I know I know the coins that I'm, I'm hoping to be able to get. So we'll see how that works. And we'll talk to you real soon. This is Penny Digger. And we're out.